This is the kind of weather that comes down on us again and again and again. And the popular complacency says there's nothing we can do about it. Well, we've learned something can be done about it and is. Now, the reason for Rochester's poor weather, rain in the summer, uh, tense snowfalls in the winter, of course, has been Lake Ontario. Well, that is about to change. Lake Ontario is going to be drained and filled in. Say hello to sunny days, blue skies, and good times ahead. It was a typically foul day seven years ago that sparked the fill in the lake drive. Since then, it's been a top secret project of the U.S.-Canadian International Joint Commission. We have learned this commission's final recommendation. Get rid of the lake. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. Something like this is going to have to cost money, but after all, the federal government's been spending billions of dollars in the South and the Southwest, and it's time that they start putting some of those billions of dollars up here. And so I'm going to do everything I can to get as many of those billions as I can for the Rochester area. Uh, we've had so much trouble in the last years with high water, and I'll just be glad to get that off my back. As Lake Ontario's waters are drained, opposition is bound to surface. Some fishermen will object, but scientists say most of the lake's fish are poisoned anyway. Yachtsmen may whine too, but they can merely sail in Irondequoit Bay. And Charlotte Beach, where swimmers and sunbathers have frolicked for years? No problem, it's going to be moved here. So all the pieces are coming together to rid ourselves of this weather, and a short time ago, Americans and Canadians pushed aside one of the last stumbling blocks. And that was the problem of what to do with all the water. Well, Ontario's will simply be pushed through the St. Lawrence Seaway as the lake is filled in. Once the Niagara River is dammed here, waters from the rest of the Great Lakes will flow through a vastly widened and deepened barge canal into the Mohawk River, over to the Hudson, finally down and out into the Atlantic Ocean. One more offshoot of filling in the lake. The Genesee River will be dammed here, where it meets the Barge Canal. And what used to be the river will then become a highway, 47G, for gorge. It'll race nonstop to Toronto. So the road will provide a shorter and easier journey for Canadians who for so long have fled this city to seek out Rochester's chic nightlife. Parts of the project are already underway, and the cost will be staggering, up to $200 billion. That'll add about $1,000 to your annual tax bill, but politicians believe, with a renewed economic momentum, it's worth it. So goodbye, Ontario. You're nice on the few good days you give us, but you don't give us enough. The contracts for filling in the lake will be awarded in a few months. The actual project is expected to be underway by next April Fool's Day. Mike Power, TV10 News.